Hmm. Hello. Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest channel since the last cool channel. Smosh. Hell, Smosh. Dad. I come to you with trying news. Sims 4 is now free to play. That's right, the EA corporate greed has trickled down finally. Ronald Reagan is turning in his grave. So for a game that's come out many years now, a lot of people have probably forgotten what the actual game looks like just if you were to buy it or now install it because you can't buy it anymore and that's simply because if you were to just install the game right now you'd be missing oh a lot oh you'd be you'd be you'd be <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot to buy uh so i guess it came to the point over at ea that um it, it kind of wasn't fair to also ask for someone to pay for the base game when currently uh buying all the dlcs on steam costs you this amount of money Wow. <laughs> wow! Now, of course, you don't exactly need all of these fancy DLCs packed to enjoy The Sims 4. Uh, right? You don't need those, right? You Please tell me you don't need those. Do I? I mean, it's 50% off buying the cat and the dog right now. Alright, new game. Let's see what we're all in for. Alright, we're not going to invest too much in what we have here today. We just want to get ourselves a little guy to have some fun out there in the world. Alright, this guy. He looks like a menace to society. There we go. It's the Rat Man from the Rat Realm. Uh, so I'm assuming a lot of the stuff you'll be missing if you were to simply buy the game right now. Buy? I keep saying buy. It's going to be free to play when this is out. So a lot of the things you'll be not seeing if you were to install the game is the clothing options. And I can already tell that this is very, very sparse. Uh, I think if I was to do the simile in sim simile? Oh my god, I've got sims on the brain. If I was to do this in my base version of the game where I have 10 billion DLCs, uh, this scroll bar would take about five years to get to the bottom. Oh yeah, you get further in, uh, there's a lot less just, uh, base costumes. Um, I don't know where this came from, but apparently this is masculine and formal. Of course, those are just the predetermined costumes. You can also just go through and, uh, pick any other stuff that you may find to be formal attire. Can't forget the high heels, you are a classy rat man. Oh yeah, there is a lot less traits too, because I think a lot of them are actually tied to uh, areas you go to, and um, unfortunately, we'll get into that in a minute. Alright, rat man has been created, and we now have our free residential worlds we can move to. Now, just remember this screen, because later, it's going to look a little bit different. Alright, so we have Willow Creek, Oasis Spring, a new crest and uh, the world does not have any good start lots for you yeah it is essentially nothing but a hole in the ground yep I will pick this hole in the ground uh, I'm just kidding I will live in the neighborhood I won't just evolve into rat like behavior immediately oh, there you go that sounds beautiful daisy hovel that's perfect for me welcome to live mode would you like a quick tour of basic controls no thank you emily i've been here way too long already all right i said no thanks emily you're coming on a bit too strong here so back to this screen we have our three areas to look at and if you know the base sims i say the base sims if you've paid 10 billion dollars to unlock all the dlc this would be filled out completely and and if you actually bought the game before and played without the DLC, if I remember correctly, all the bubbles that would show all the other places you can live and explore would actually still be here, but they would be like blacked out and it just immediately take you to the store page if you clicked on them. So I'm glad you've cleaned this up a little, EA. One thing I do have to say is they have pretty much minimized the in your face, you must buy this DLC to access cool feature right now. Spend $10 billion to unlock the dog dlc do you enjoy dogs then you would enjoy dog in game look at that dog eat food <laughs> would you like to pay for responsibility in a video game well, now you can with the sims 4 taxes dlc yeah for the most part everything is looking fairly sparse in terms of what you can actually build with and have a lot of fun with which isn't a bad thing because realistically half the stuff that gets added in dlcs is pointless now of course they don't add everything that's completely useless they do in fact add a lot of skill stuff where you can make money like the streaming desk and uh 
I only ever really used the streaming desk and the, the art easel over here, but um, that's thankfully base game. But I guess if you were just getting into the game and you wanted to see um, if the options you had to build with, uh, you still have quite a lot because realistically, one toilet does just as well as the other toilet. Pay five billion dollars for the more comfortable shitting experience. Alright, though we don't have to build anything because Mr. Ratman is a simple man living his rat life. Alright, first off, let's check the mobile device. That looks sparser than usual, but I can't remember why. Um, I'm assuming we can't do stuff uh, like buy uh, restaurants, manage restaurants, buy businesses, stuff like that. Um, in fact, it doesn't look like we can do anything. Uh, I guess I could hire a service, and uh, if I really wanted to, I could get the maid. I have limited money as it is, so why not? Uh, so I can't take a vacation, but I could change a lot to a vacation lot and go vacation there we got it oh, let's go try that all right it has been set up and we're going on an exotic adventure today with mr ratman look how ecstatic he is he's closed his eyes and the game has frozen <laughs> all right so we're going off on an adventure and the adventure we're going on is uh, across the street to this house right here <laughs> We're going on a crazy adventure for seven days. <laughs> well, here it is. Home sweet home <laughs> for the week off. A big thing with going on vacation is always worrying if you uh, turn the stove off, forgot your passport or anything like that. But with this rental property, if anything like that did happen, home is not too far away. All right, so I guess they do have some features in, but um, they are a little sparse in terms of their complexity. Uh, yeah, you don't really have any of the... Uh, you know, vacation lots that you'd have in uh, the DLC, which I, I have no idea which DLC that might be that gives you the access to vacations. Uh, but I guess this is still something. You could create some interesting places for your sims to go adventure off to. Um, will they be adventurous as the house across the street, though? No way! Alright, it's been long enough. I should probably get to harassing my neighbors. Hello! As you can see, I am in vacation mode, in the vacation hotspot. Would you like to be friends? Please be my friend. Oh, uh, no one actually lives here. I guess I should move someone in. There we go. I have moved in the English household. That's quite hilarious, as I can even click on my house to play my character. Or the house across the street where he's currently vacationing. All right. Just moved in. Don't mind if I also come see what's in your fridge. Oh, milk. My favorite. Oh, uh, I think they're scared of me. They both just got into bed terrified. I guess it makes sense. This man just walked into your house and started drinking milk. Oh, okay. One of the big things I'm noticing here is that there is a distinct lack of uh, options on what to really make in the kitchen. I think usually a lot of this gets added in the DLCs too, which I guess I've taken for granted. Granted, but I I could make one hell of a salad. Oh, uh, the ram man's a bit disappointed. Um, he didn't enjoy the milk. Yeah, I thought this was an old man, but he's got like the <laughs> the Zuma haircut. <laughs> I have no idea why they are both like absolutely scared right now. Um, that wait, actually. Yeah, I do. So obviously you have a lot less households in the game because you obviously have a lot less houses. And uh, I am seeing some new faces though. Uh, mostly because all of these people are more than likely dead in my world that I've had for like 10 years now. Well, I'm on vacation, so I'm going to blow off some steam at the Blue Velvet. <laughs> and I will invite all of my friends to come along with me. Oh, watch out, guys. Mortimer Goff is in town. Oh, we don't have the famous DLC, so we can't just annoy everybody into giving me money by screeching into the microphone. I could practice piano, though. Uh, that could b give us some money. I'm not too sure if that's how it works still. Oh, yeah, that works. They still give you money. There is just no fame gain at all because... Fame is not in the game. <laughs> oh, one thing I didn't think about is actually looking at what jobs we can get. There is a metric ton of jobs available for all the DLCs. Oh, uh, okay. Not a lot in the base game. Oh, you know, one thing that is uh, slightly weird is definitely seeing all these people that have 
that have just been straight up dead in my world for a very long time. Uh, in terms of social and social skills, there are a few choices missing, mostly down to the fact of uh, like the, the werewolf and the vampire DLC, where half of your choices and options is asking whether or not you know about vampires. Uh, which I have to say is a drastic improvement over the having those DLCs spam out your options in here. I just do not care to know whether or not you are a mermaid. One of the things you're usually dealing with in The Sims 4 is the seasons, mostly down to, I'm assuming, the seasons DLC pack. I don't remember what that one is. I don't remember what any of these are. I just give them the money and forget about it years later. But one of those DLCs gives you access to seasons, which uh, you won't have access to here, which I guess is somewhat of a not bad thing, honestly. And I guess this guy didn't want to play chess with me. Uh, seasons aren't in the base game, which means every day is a wonderful day of nothing. It's, it's all just, it's just all bright and sunny. Yeah, so no seasons means like no winter. I'm assuming you don't get all the special events around those seasons too. Uh, like uh, winter, Christmas must. I can't remember what they call it. Yeah, because usually I'm used to having a lot of stuff in here about all the upcoming events and stuff happening throughout the, uh, the towns. But, uh, I guess we just get the cycles of the moon now. <laughs> I mean, you still can plan a few events out, like a house party. I have no friends. Oh, I found some uh, time capsules as well laying around. Look, I just got myself a Funko Pop. Wowzers, epic win. I have no idea what these things are. <laughs> I'll just notice I'm still carrying around that milk too. <laughs> Almost spoiled, might as well have a little drink, shall I? Yeah, so I think there is um, a distinct lack of stuff to do, um, especially if you've already been, uh, you, you've had the, the great opportunity to test out some of the stuff the DLC actually gives you. It seems you're mostly limited down to actually visiting households and whatever is placed on the map. Now, I think you can also just move in your own lots and uh, let's see if we can put anything interesting down. Yeah, uh, the big problem is uh, putting anything down that'll actually work is gonna be a bit of a problem because there is a lot of stuff that's gonna be missing. A lot of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not a good sign, is it? Oh, you go. I could put down a club. Uh, I mean, we already have a couple clubs on the map, but why not, eh? Yeah, there's really not a lot to go by in here. We got a few residential places. Uh, we have a couple nightclubs and mostly bars and uh, gyms. There's a uh, there's really not a lot to put down. No restaurants at all because. Well, you need to pay money for that. You must pay for the DLC to be able to eat food, little friend. All right, now we also have stuff that people have uploaded as well that we can check out, but the um, the problem is I'm not too sure how much of this is gonna be for us. <laughs> oh, yeah, for the base game, uh, a lot of the highly rated stuff, unsurprisingly, um, it was shared just a couple years ago. <laughs> Which does make sense, but uh, realistically, how many different museums and bars do you need for a town? I guess we'll put down the Museum of Fine Arts, though. Oh! Well, that's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's just a, uh, a big slap to anyone that hasn't bought any DLCs, I imagine. Uh, actually, just seeing this kind of gave me a bit of whiplash. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> I feel a little tormented, but uh, let's just pretend we didn't see that. There you go. No better place to put the museum than in the middle of the desert. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what the museum actually has to offer, other than... Um, fine artifacts, I suppose. Uh, I mean, it does look very nice, though. But how long can I stare at this limbless woman and think, maybe I should go touch grass? Never. Never. Ratman will stare at her forever and ever. Uh, I mean, I guess you could take someone on a date here. A date's in this? I need to check that. <laughs> He's approaching. <laughs> Run while you still can, my lady. Hello. I would like to ask you on a date. Uh-oh. Join my vacation! Oh, she did join my vacation. Um... This is a stranger on the street. I just want to add that. Yeah, so there are no dates. Um, you can still go ahead and add them to your group and ask them to hang out. So I guess I'll... I'll take you 
to this house. Does anyone live here? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's her house. <laughs> How convenient. Okay, I won't lie. Your house, um, it looks a lot better than mine does. Oh, it might just be a coincidence, but Rare can't shake the feeling that others are constantly judging him. Is it his hair, personality, friends? Whatever it is, Rad is afraid that this won't be the I think it might be all of the above. There you go. You, you can't have dates. Make your own. You don't want to watch me? Look how strong he is. Why did you walk away? I'm impressive. Yeah, I think Rama might have a case of... CM play solo. Alright, real question is, if I just go sleep in your bed, will you be upset and kick me out? Yeah. Yeah, they will. Um, come on, guys. <laughs> it's me, the rap man. Oh, I guess I'll take a bath and then leave. Uh, hey! <laughs> it's rude to walk in on <laughs> someone they're using your shower. Alright, whatever. I'm clearly not welcome here. Let's go check out that nightclub. Wow, this place is absolutely popping, as the young'uns say. Uh, just ignore the fact that I invited everyone the rat man knew and filled this place up. Oh, <laughs> the rat man just got a fear of <laughs> crowded places. <laughs> you invited them all here, my friend! You know that meme of the guy in the corner at the party, and he's just in the corner while we're out having fun? <laughs> he's just browsing the internet. <laughs> well... That's depressing. Oh, right, man, wake up, someone left some potato chips right there. You gotta get those before they go bad. There you go, like, now he's happy. Oh, might as well uh, just have a quick look around the goth household. And, uh, you know, funnily enough, it feels like in another life I used to live in the walls of this place. Oh, you, you know, I just can't sleep anywhere, can I? What is the point of a vacation if every time I try to relax, people just stare at me sleeping? You know, maybe vacationing is just... Not all is cracked up to be. I think I need to get out of this house right now. The rat man has had enough of the five activities available in base game Sims. <laughs> We're retreating back to our abode. So the question is, is Sims 4 without a whole bunch of DLC kids, packs, expansions actually any fun? And I think realistically, yeah, it's actually not that bad. I do think overall, though, it is very limited in how much fun you could probably get out of this. But for <laughs> the type of people that play The Sims 4, I don't think that's really going to be too much of a bother. I don't think anyone is mad enough to actually invest and buy all the DLC like some people who won't be named. Um, <clears throat> me. Me. <laughs> uh, I think if you want to have the best experience in The Sims 4, though, you definitely do have to invest into some of the DLC, but I think you could also get a lot of enjoyment just playing the game as it is, and you should definitely do your research on what to spend your money on DLC-wise. Don't just go into it thinking, hey, I might like this one, I might like that one, because realistically, you could hate it. Uh, as someone who owns pretty much all the DLC, um, yeah, a lot of the features will just go under the radar, a lot of them definitely ain't worth the damn price and you should you should be very wary before you buy just because you see that slash in price and, uh, on sale or whatnot <laughs> don't let them sucker you in uh, especially because sims 4 going free to play does probably mean that they are in development of a new sims and that the sims 4 Probably doesn't have a lot of life left in it, and you're gonna have to rebuy all these DLCs through another 10 years of game development, which is just insane. Um, but we'll see on that. Uh, I'm not gonna trash EA and Max, it's too hard. Um, although they definitely deserve it. But we'll see what The Sims 5 brings upon us uh, when it does arrive, whenever that may be. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to ever check out The Sims 4 and see if you'll enjoy it, it's free to play now. Uh, go check it out. This video isn't sponsored. It never will be. I think EA would ever touch me with a 20-foot pole. Uh, but for now, our little rat man is sleeping gently, and I'm going to retreat back to my Sims 4 that is a uh, bastardization of what this game whoever was supposed to be. So if you enjoyed this little look, a bit of a different video in The Sims 4, uh, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and check out more funny little videos on the ISP channel right now. But until then, rat time.